What's the Chow Chin Chow's Lantern Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode we were going down the Celebi Islands and off screen in the grinding sessions I have finished off the Celebi Islands. I did a solid about 100 minutes of grinding and it turned out to be pretty well done. It, it worked out pretty well for me to do that but sadly I did lose a Pokemon. Edinburgh died to the very last trainer before I started recording. Critical hit Ice Beam. Could have lived. I don't know. Maybe. But we do have a new teammate on our team right now. I want to introduce you to Omskirk the Blaziken. Now, I haven't done any, I haven't done any training with Blaziken because he's just come onto the team. But he's got quite a good high attack stat. He's got good special attack as well. Got a jolly nature, but he knows Bulk Up, Quick Attack, Blaze Kick, and Sand Attack. Bulk Up could be really useful if I can find a good physical attack move for him to learn. Maybe Brick Break, since you can actually buy Brick Break back from the, from the Zelda market. So maybe Brick Break? I don't know. But today we are going to be taking on the 8th Gym. I have faced all the trainers in grinding. So all we need to do is face Giovanni. So let's do that already. And to talk to the guide for the final time. Hey y'all, champ in the making. I don't even know the identity of the Viridian City Gym Leader. But one thing certain, he is the toughest of all the gym leaders. Also, I have heard he likes ground type Pokemon. Thank you for pointless information there, because really, we don't know what he's gonna have. This is the randomizer. And I can't remember how to get through this gym. I hate these moving puzzles things. I think we just go around here, up here, and we should be at the gym tray. Yep, we're at him. We are right here. So I'm going to go and save my game really quickly. Just in case. You never know. So make sure you save the game before anything goes down. And let's do this. Wow! Welcome to my hideout. It shall be. It should be until Team Rocket is store, restored to its former glory. He, what you have found me once again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Okay, so we're going to face Boss Leo one more time. Leo starts off with his Masquerade, level 45. Hmm. I don't really have anything to deal with Masquerade. At this moment at this moment in time, I don't really have anything to deal with Masquerade. Um I guess let's do bit. Let's calm mind up. Because that could be rather useful. Let's calm mind. Because my strategy for flying types at this moment in time is calm mind and then shockwave. It might work. I don't know. Now I've been paralyzed, I'm not so sure. I would like to calm mind again. Can I calm mind again, please? Skegness, calm mind, please. Thank you, Skegness. Now we need to shockwave. Come on, live the gust. You can live the gust. And. Oh, you're paralyzed. That's annoying. Come on, live the gust again. Now, shockwave, go, go on. And yes, down goes the masquerade. Not even bad. Okay, and a Geodude. Gonna switch out into Dover to get rid of the damp. Plus Dover has Surf now. Yeah, I talked Dover Surf off screen. Actually, let's go through movesets whilst we're here. Last win in this situation. Let's go through movesets. Okay, so Dover now knows Surf, Yawn, Slam, and Earthquake, level 48. Millwall's level 51, knowing Slash, Bite, Cut, and Surf. Uh, Skegness is level 51, knows Calm Mind, Strength, Shockwave, and Glare. Grimsby, level 47, Growth, Spore, Giga Drain, Cut. 
Dublin, level 41, Pursuit, Uproar, Try Attack, Fly. And Omskirk, our new, our new teammate with Sand Attack, Bull Cup, Quick Attack, and Blaze Kick. I don't know where to teach him Overheat or Fire Blast. I haven't quite decided yet, but I feel like he should learn some kind of big Fire type move. And then Brick Break would be a great move to have for a Bulk Up as well. To keep Bulk Up on there and then Brick Break. So you can Bulk Up into Brick Breaks and have the powerful Fire type moves as well. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not exactly sure on his full moveset just yet. So let's go for the Surf. Now the reason why I've grinded is not for Giovanni. I've grinded for Blue. I've grinded for our rival because literally our rival has some very powerful Pokemon at this level and we're about to go into Elite 4 so I feel like I needed to grind and grinding now means less grinding later because I don't know exactly what level I want to go into Elite 4 at I'm considering 57 to 60 is where I'd like to be for the Elite 4 but I'm not exactly sure just yet now I don't have anything to deal with Wishma I guess I don't really need anything to deal with Wishma. Earthquake. Yeah, Ish Wishma shouldn't have any. There uh, shouldn't be trouble. Nope. Wishma's not trouble. Uh, now a loud red. Um, okay, staying in. This is his high level. This is loud red level 5. 45. Okay. So it's not as. I think we've already faced and destroyed his. Uh, Big Pokemon, so that's the 8th gym match. Not even bad. Ha! That was an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the final Earth badge. And we got the final badge. The Earth badge will allow any Pokemon of any level obey you without question. As evidence of your mastery as a trainer. And you'll be able to challenge the Pokemon League. Also take this TM. Consider it a gift from the Pokemon League Challenge. TM26, that's Earthquake. TM26 contains Earthquake. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here too long, far too long ago. Okie dokie, so he made that TM. Not even bad. I mean, I don't even know how you make TMs. That is some. That would be really cool if you could make your own TM. You know what? That would be interesting. I want to ask that as question of the day. If you could make your own move, what would it be? What would it be called? What would it type? Uh, what would you type it as? If you could make your own move, what would you call it? That's what I want to know. If you could make your own move, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section down below, because I feel like that's an interesting question to ask you guys. It might spark up some attention for the comment section, because that is, it's an interesting question. I believe you guys would have some great ideas on, the ha uh, on moves. Pokemon Zeta, for example, massive spoiler here. In that game, there's an actual person who will make your own move for you in that game. So maybe they'll bring that into the uh, real Pokemon games eventually. What, Joe? This is a surprise to see you here. So you're getting to the Pokemon League. You've collected all the badges then? That's cool. Then I will whip I will whip you as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. You're gonna whip me. You are gonna whip me. Oh, I didn't teach Blizzard. I meant to teach Blizzard. Okay, so Phobia starts off with Nidoran. Uh, I'm gonna switch out. Go Dover. I meant to teach Blizzard to Millwall. I've not done that yet. I need to do that. This needs to happen. I need to teach Blizzard to Millwall. And I need to get rid of that fusion. I really do. I ah, know it might work in our favour, actually. You know, the special attack boost and fusion. Please don't hit five times. Okay, didn't. It's four times, and one of them was a crit. That's not fair. Come on, Earthquake. 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 Dover. You're not supposed to hit yourself. Dover. 
Dover, come on. Dover. Now please hit the earthquake. Dover. Dover. Nice work, Dover. Scared me there without all that hitting yourself in confusion. Scares the hell on me. Please stop doing that. Okay, so Grimsby goes to level 48. Dover's not going to level yet. Sintra. Again, don't we have enough to deal with it? Not going to Skegness. Strength's rather powerful. And. Nice. Not even bad. And some Viper. Back into Dover for the Earthquake. Now Dover's got rid of his confusion. He should be fine to deal with this. Okay, thank you for missing the swagger. <laughs> I did not need that. And... Yes, nice. Not even bad. Level 49, trying to learn Rain Dance. Oh, I want to teach that. I want to teach that because I've had an idea that might just work. And Slam is missing more than it's hitting. So I'm getting rid of Slam. I'm going to learn Rain Dance. I've had this idea to try and use Do to try and use a combination of Dover and uh, Skegness at the same time. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I want Dover to set up Rain Dance and then for Skegness to come in and use the Thunder, which I'm going to go with Thunder in my next grinding session for the Elite Four. So that could be an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work. I can't remember whether you can actually, you know, make sure that Thunder doesn't miss in the third gen with Rain Dance. I can't remember if that's a thing, because I know that's a thing with... Uh, I know it's a thing with... Uh, Blizzard in the 4th gen. If you put Hail up, Blizzard is not going to miss in 4th gen. So, I don't know if that's a thing in the 3rd gen with uh, Rain Dance and... Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing in the 3rd gen with Rain Dance. I really don't know if that's a thing with Rain Dance and Thunder. I don't know. I'd like to find out. I'll have to give it a try because uh, I just don't know at this moment in time. I know it works in 4th gen. Okay, so Weather Ball's going to do nothing because you haven't changed type yet. I mean, okay, so you're Fire type now. So any Water type attacks will just won't hurt you at all. Well, hurt you a lot actually. So okay, you're Fire type now. But I can still strength you away. Bye bye, Pass Form. Right, and now he's Flygon. Still worried about this Flygon. <laughs> to this day, I do not know what to do against this Flygon. Guess we could try and surf. But then again, the sunlight is strong, so it's not a good idea to surf right now. Or slash. That screech is going to be annoying. Ooh, nice crit. Can we destroy him with one more slash? Dragon Breath is special. Yes, another crit. Not even bad. Double crit. And down goes Frobia. What? I was, I was just careless. You. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Joe, you need more practice. But hey, you knew Vow Array. So, I'm out of here. Smell ya. I beat you. What do you mean I need more practice? I beat you. I kicked your ass. I 6 owed you. You know, you need more practice, Phobia. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, I've lost 11 Pokemon during this Nuzlocke. <laughs> Don't remind me of the fact that I've lost... This is a record high for me on YouTube. 11 Pokemon lost. I mean, it's not my Nuzlocke high, but it's a record high on YouTube. So I'm a little worried. 
but I guess we can go to Victory Road now. So let's go and put in a repel because I don't really need to get any encounters on this route. For the Black Gate, I need to get encounters. In the Pokemon League, Route 23, that's where I need to get encounters. So let's go and go there. And then we can go and take on the Pokemon League. Well, we can go and take on the Pokemon League probably sometime soon. I might... Probably in the next episode. Because if we can get through here, I might try and do Victory Road in grinding. Because, you know... Victory Road will be good to have us grinding. And then we can get... We don't have to have a special episode for Victory Road. I'll get my encounter in Victory Road whilst I'm still... doing Whilst I'm still recording this episode, though. And, uh... Then we will go on to face the Elite Four. Because we're almost done with this Let's Play, guys. And I don't really know what I want to do next. I've had an idea for my next LP. I don't know how well you're going to like it. But it's an interesting idea. And I want to do it. I don't know how well it's going to work, though. So it's going to be a risk taking the idea of doing this. So whilst I'm planning this, I'm going to get back to my Y Wonder Lock. And our repels run off, so let's see what we can get here for the Black Gate. Route 23, encounter is a Morwile, level 34. Okay, so Morwile. Pure steel type in this game. This fairy doesn't exist, so can... At level 34, can you live one Giga Drain? I don't think so. I really don't think you can live a Giga Drain at this level. Uh, Blaziken, can you do anything? I don't want to use... I don't want to use Blaze Kick, because that will kill. That will kill. Uh, Quick Attack will do almost nothing. And then Feign Attack will do almost nothing to me. So the only thing I can do is throw a Pokeball here. Because I don't think I can do any damage to her. I really don't think I can do any damage to her at all. So I don't know. I don't think I can do any damage. I'm not exactly sure on this. I probably need to go into Skegness. See if I can do anything. Maybe... Okay, so maybe glare at it. Skegness, please glare at this thing. You can't Bonton Pass into anything you're a wild Pokemon. If you were on my side, you could Bonton Pass, but you're not on my side, you're against me here, Marwal. Okay, so Shockwave. You're a Steel type, so you would resist Ultras, really. Okay, fine. That actually puts you into catching range. I don't think I can do any more da- No, I can't do any more damage to you. I wouldn't even try at that HP. That's like 4 HP. Okay, Marwile. What do I call it? Because I'm running out of names again. But I'm probably not going to be upping my list. I'm not going to be putting any more names in my list. So let's call you... Let's call you lowest off, which is attack I can't remember where lowest off is it's in I think it's in the Midlands or something of the of the UK so let's call you lowest off um, uh, there we go lowest off now I have to remember to take him out of the death box and put him in an actual box before I put before I go on to Victory Road. Well, I don't know if I will actually do it before Victory Road, but I'm going to remember to do it before Vili Four. Okay, fine. I still can't I can't get out of a fight between me and a ladybug. Thank you. Okay, so we are seven badges into the Black Gate. One more badge to go. And we are at Victory Road. 
So let's get our encounter in here. And let's see what that is. Encounter for Victory Road is a Dugong. I would not mind bringing this on. I would not. Oh. Sheer cold scares the hell out of me. Thank God I'm two levels ahead of this. Yeah. Uh, one hit KO moves will not hit if you are fa if you are leveled up. If you are ahead of the level of the Pokemon, you will not. The one hit KO move will not hit. So, no matter what happens, I will not get hit by that move. Um, I probably should switch into Skegness, maybe. Grimsby is going to get destroyed, and the Skeknas can just like war at this moment in time. Uh, Skeknas, can you strength, please? Okay, you can wall that, right, Skeknas? That did quite a bit of damage, despite the fact that I'm trying to wall. Okay, so, Dugong, I don't think I can hit you again. Uh, I'm going to ask you nicely. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. One, two, three. Yay! You just got to ask him nicely. Dugong. Our last... Well, our second to last encounter. But I'm going to get an encounter for the power plant later on. So, this is going to be... Newport, it's a town in Wales. It's a really nice place. I've been there a few, been there like once for a Pokemon events. Back when they used to have Pokemon events, I actually travelled all the way to uh, to Wales to get. Uh, I think it was like, I believe it was the Reggie Gigas event. Yeah, I think it was the Reggie Gigas event. What could I have had in here? Oh, I would have loved a Heracross. That would have been so useful. Okay, fine, you're going to destroy me. Uh, switching out is a thing. Now, Heracross is quite weak to flying, but I don't really want to send my uh, flying type in against a Heracross because it is so bull. You know, Heracross is a lot of attack, and that scare me. Counter is special. Counter is physical, so you can't do any damage since Servo is special. Not even bad. And I can go and do Victory Road, but I think I'll do Victory Road in the next step. I think I'll do Victory Road in grinding. Yeah, I think I'll do Victory Road in grinding. We'll face the Elite Four in the next episode of this Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer No Sort Challenge. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Go and check out the Zarphobia's channel for the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer No Sort. Answer today's question of the day, which is, of course, if you could make your own move, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section down below. If I could make my own move, I, I'm not even sure what I'd do for my own move. I know it'd be a fire type because fire is my favorite type and I, I would love to see a move that, uh, you know, like a, a ice type move that would actually, actually do freeze, actually hits with freeze. That'd be really cool to see. Yeah, so I'd make a fire type move. I don't know what I'd call it, like probably incinerator or something like that, which which would automatically burn plus do like a hundred damage or something like that. I don't know. That's my idea, but I don't really know. If, uh, I don't really know. I've never thought about making my own move before, but it's an interesting idea. It'd be a, it is something that you have to think about if you wanted to actually add to that question. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And until next time, I'm Lantern Joe, and I am out. See you again.